Hello everyone. Welcome back to your English language class. Today we are going to begin with the topic which we have started earlier, how to change a sentence from active voice to passive voice. Today we are going to begin with if our sentence is in simple present tense, how we are supposed to apply the changes. Here I have written formations for different tenses and please write these formations along with the examples on your English ones notebook. Before beginning with that, please see to that don't get confused between direct, indirect speech and active and passive voice. These two are different sections. In active and passive voice, we will not change the tense of the sentence. If it is in present tense, it will be in the present tense only. Only the changes will be according to the rules of the changing the sentence from active voice to passive voice. See for example, if it is in simple present tense, its passive voice formation will be subject plus is MR plus verbs third form plus by plus object. And note that certain things are there which will not be changed in all the tenses. For example, verbs third form will be there in all the sentences whether it is a past present tense or future tense. The very preposition by will be applied to all the sentences and object will be changed accordingly. Only the change will be in this section, helping verbs, that too according to the sentence. If your sentence is in present tense, your helping verbs will be only those which are used in present tense. See the sentence over here, he writes a letter. What was the first step to change a sentence from active voice to passive voice? We have to find the SVO, subject, verb and object. After finding that, then next step was we were supposed to interchange object with the subject. So here we have changed. Our next sentence is beginning with our object, a letter. Now a letter is a singular thing. So we have applied single subject. And what was verbs third form for write? Write, wrote, written. So we have applied written over here. It will be followed by the preposition by and object will be changed accordingly. So likewise by following the simple steps we have changed our active voice into passive voice. A letter is written by him. Next come if it is in present continuous tense only the change will be it will be applied with the very word being. Rest of the things will be same. A letter is being written by him. If it is in perfect tense, it will be applied been, has, have plus been. A letter has been written by him. Now there were some exceptional cases. These are those present perfect continuous tense. It will not be changed into passive words. It doesn't have any passive words. If your past tense is there, we all know that past tense formation is subject plus verbs, second form plus object. And in passive voice, it will be was, were plus verbs, third form plus by plus object. See this here, this section is same. Only the changes in the helping verb. That also was and were are used in past tense. That is why they are used over here. A letter was written by him. A letter was singular thing and was is used with singular, were is used with plural. Next come the continuous tense. Only the change will be in the being. Was, were was already there. Being plus verbs third form plus by plus object. A letter was being written by him. Next comes the past perfect tense. We all know that in past perfect tense we are using had. So it will be had plus been, b -E -E n been. Rest of the things will be same. A letter had been written by him. And here also perfect continuous tense doesn't have any passive voice. Next comes the future tense. Simple future tense, it will be having will or shall, right? So these helping verbs will be used in the passive voice. Subject plus will shall plus be. Rest of the things, same. Verbs third form by object, all the things will be same. Only the changes will be in the helping verbs which we are going to apply. And that will be different. 
for simple future tense this and we don't have any uh, uh, passive voice for future continuous tense those are from the exceptional cases next comes the perfect tense future perfect tense its formation will be subject plus will shall plus have been and rest of the things will be same and also we don't have any passive voice for perfect continuous tense please write these formations along with the examples as i have written over here and try to revise it Thank you.